Welcome to UniArch Learning Hub. In this episode, we are going to introduce UniArch mobile application. We will give you an overview of UniArch app first. Then go sign up for UniArch account and explain its general setting. Let's get started. UniArch app is a simplified mobile surveillance app specially designed for small businesses and end user. Suitable for scenarios with less than 6 NVRs. With it, you can access UniArch surveillance products through the network. View live and recorded video, receive alarms, share cloud devices and manage files from anywhere. You can visit the web link attached, downloading the app on Google Play or the Apple App Store also works. Open up the app. Hit the login sign up option and go for signing up to register the account. Select the location and input your email address. Agree to terms and conditions. Then go verify. The code will be soon sent to your mailbox. Input the verification code and go next. Create the password for the account. Now we got the account registered successfully. The used name generated by the system is a random bunch of letters and numbers. You can click the icon to get some info adjusted. Like the username, password, and email address. UniArch app supports device sharing, we will detail its configuration later on. Next is General. Enable notification push so you can be notified when alarms take place. Here comes the PTZ speed option, the default speed is 6, the greater number the faster its speed. Tap to change if needed. Enable the device time zone. The notification and playback time will be synchronized with the device time. If you are hoping to pause the video when nothing happens in a certain period, enable the pause video function. Auto discover new devices is for automatically discovering new devices in the same network. Tap it if needed. UniArch can optimize video fluency but may incur a longer delay. Turn it on or not based on your actual needs. The last item in general is for checking the data usage. The following is the tool. Tap and enter. Forget device password option is for retrieving the device password of online cloud devices. Device Wi-Fi configuration option is for configuring Wi-Fi or adding cameras to NVR. Now let's move to help and feedback. You can find the FAQ under the help category. Enable logs to record operation data. So you can send us logs for diagnosis when problems occur. The next option is about. On this page, you will find the app version info and some agreements or policies. Tap clear cache to release storage space when needed. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.